going to try something new, not for all videos, but for some videos because lately I've just been fascinated by bad writing and ugly writing and I think this is coming from someone who spent so many years trying to get things perfect and obviously I'm an editor, I'm into polishing, but since I talk about the writing process and what it takes to get better, a lot of that includes being really bad and just putting stuff out there and experimenting and trying but when you look at writing online you see the polished versions you see the versions that have gone through probably multiple rounds of editing and the same you know even when you see edited videos on youtube i don't edit my videos so you see a bit of rawness here but i also write down notes in my phone for uh for all my videos that's basically how things have been going lately. I used to write stuff down in physical notebooks and I still do sometimes for my writing, but everything's been going in my phone lately. And uh, sometimes I write down just bullet points and that's what I end up talking about. But lately, when I've been looking back at my notes, I've been seeing sort of full scripts, like very rough draft scripts. Um, that I could read verbatim and, and they would make sense to someone. I don't feel comfortable writing out scripts for these videos and reading my writing. It always sounds like really forced to me and it's it kind of defeats the purpose of the rawness that I like about my videos. Like if you want to read my writing, just go read my writing it's everywhere online and i write in my voice so you how i uh actually talk comes through that writing so just like me reading a script that i wrote here doesn't feel right for what i like to do but um the idea that i came up with was you know if i read these raw notes that i have which are basically very rough drafts of writing like a rough script um, you get to see more of that behind the scenes and uh, you know what just sort of comes out of someone's mind uh, that goes into a draft and not the the crafted version now obviously I talk about the importance of craft and uh, I love editing because it's so artistic because you take that rough version and you turn it into you know what um what what is good writing or what is, the goal would be to turn it into uh good writing but but yeah i just really um i'm into like this behind the scenes uh look at different stages of the writing process and not just the final process so i'm just going to read this rough script and that's going to be the video i'm calling it unfinished which i'm going to repeat myself because i'm going to start at the top of my notes um so i'm going to be repeating myself a little bit but i'm calling it unfinished and not every video is going to be like this because sometimes i really do only write bullet points and it's not an entire video or it wouldn't translate into an entire video so it'd be you know how I normally do um, I, I go through the bullet points that I study before I start talking so uh, so here we go so I'm just going to use my notes as a script if there's something artistic about sharing a draft and not perfecting it I've spent so many years annoyed at myself and trying to perfect everything which is really pointless uh, when you're learning you just have to start doing and putting it out there so I'm trying something else and I'm calling that uh, unfinished it's the genre it will be in the title of my videos when I'm doing an unfinished video so for today I don't like a lot of writing and it doesn't mean that the writing is bad which is part of the reason why i don't mind someone not liking my work obviously it took a while to get here um, when people do not like what you do and you don't have a lot of experience that's not fun because you do things uh you know there's there's no person 
who doesn't have some sort of ego involved in um, making their creative work and you do something good, you want positive feedback. You know, you don't do something to get negative feedback. Uh, or you might, you know, there are some people who are might, but that is um, a different topic and a different video. So it took me a while to get here where I don't really mind criticism and I really welcome people not liking my videos because it's a reminder about the beauty of opinions. You could get annoyed at opinions or take a good look at your own opinions and your own judgments of other things, just like how I don't like a lot of writing, whether it's written articles, uh, stuff online, or a lot of um, you know scripted television. I don't like the writing. But if you want someone to honor your opinion, first off, what you have control over is honoring someone else's opinion and that could be respecting someone else for not liking your work without taking it personally or as an objective truth that declares your writing as bad when you honor your own right to have your opinions and the judgments that you make of a uh, uh, <laughs> for the judgments that you make, the opinions and judgment of others just become part of the process. It's a beautiful part of the process and not something that you take to heart that affects your worth or your ability or your right to create things that are meaningful to you. So it's truly a practical way to bounce back from criticisms. Just think about your own opinions, your own judgments, and how you have the right to have them. And uh, it's great when someone has an opinion or a judgment about what you're doing. So now it is your turn to comment by giving this video a thumbs up or by giving it a thumbs down. Subscribe or unsubscribe to the channel. And if you are still with me, I will talk with you soon.